Wednesday. The rat. But brought him back home. The home. rat, son. The pressure of the tournament intensifies. Get out of here, son. Then he's unpredictable. He is wild. Unorthodox. If anyone could give Demetrius Johnson a run for his money, it's Tim Elliott. And about to face a wild man. Show me what you gotta do to help me. I think he'll kill Tim Allen in the first 30 seconds. Who will earn the last spot in the quarterfinals? Let's do it! Do or die, this is it. An all-new Ultimate Fighter, Wednesday at 10 on FS1. In 2006, I was on The Ultimate Fighter 4. I was a fighter. Being a fighter at one time was the most important thing in the world. Being part of season 10 of The Ultimate Fighter was great. I'm glad I got to be part of that. I'm just focusing mostly on trying to build the gym. There's a logical end to my fight career someday when I'm like 150. I've been living in Ames for the past seven years, coaching Iowa State's wrestling team. I've had a see one UFC fight. The only regret I have, I should have wore both gloves. <laughs> Before Hendo's deadly right hand tries to take Bisping's belt, UFC 204 starts here on FS1. By knockout. Oh my goodness! By submission. How about that? Both fighters can win any way they choose. Pickett battles Alcantara. Plus, a clash of styles pits and whistle against Font. Final seconds of the fight! UFC 204 prelims, Saturday at 7 Eastern on FS1. There's nothing I do better in this life than fighting. Nobody's taking this away from me. It felt good knocking out Michael Bisbeck, and I'm gonna do it again. fans, for the first time since October of 2013, the Octagon is in the home of the UFC's middleweight champion, Manchester, England, as we welcome you to the weigh-ins for UFC 204, Bisping versus Henderson 2. Tomorrow night, 10 in the East, 7 in the West, only on pay-per-view. Manchester Zone fights inside the Octagon in his hometown for the third time as UFC middleweight champion Michael Bisping puts his title on the line when he faces off with his fiercest rival, two-time Olympian and former Pride champion Dan Henderson, who won the UFC 17 middleweight tournament in his Octagon debut back in 1998. And after coaching opposite of Michael Bisping on the Ultimate Fighter, where tensions heightened daily, viciously knocked out the brick at UFC 100. Also tomorrow night on pay-per-view, the Phenom, Vitor Belfort, seeks a UFC record-setting 15th win by stoppage when he fights Gegard Mousasi. We'd like to send out a special welcome to our UFC Fight Club members and thank our UFC sponsors. Metro PCS where you get nationwide coverage on the blazing fast 4G LTE team mobile network for just $30 period. Gears of War 4, available on October 11th on Xbox One and Windows 10. Get the ultimate edition and play now. And by IconicFaceOff.com, the UFC social gaming partner. Real friends, real money, real time. And Twins.com. And now it's time for the weigh-in for UFC 204. Bisping versus Henderson 2. Here we go, guys. What's going on, Manchester? So good to be back. Joe Silva, Bruce Buffer, Brian Stan, Mark Gretner, Carly, Christy. Let's get things started. First fight tomorrow on UFC Fight Pass. Leonardo Santos against Adriano Martins. First to the scale, Adriano Martins.
Official weight, 155 for Martins. And his opponent, Leonardo Santos.
fighting out of London, England, Leon Rocky Edwards.
official weight 144 perfected. Our first fight, live on pay-per-view, Vectic and Dole. Up next in the heavyweight division, stepping Skyscraper Screw, taking on Daniel Omiluncha. Daniel Omiluncha first to the scale. Vitor Belfort and Gegard Mousasi 
Now, let's take a closer look at the two men who will compete in tomorrow's main event of the evening. Michael Bisman, he's part of MMA history because of that one knockout. You know, he's most known for, for being knocked out by me. great knockout but in my mind it wasn't my biggest accomplishment by any means I've done a lot of things in the sport I've been fighting for almost 20 years I've got two or three pride belts and a strike force belt as well and, and uh, I would have been completely satisfied to retire after my last fight I'm not sure what's going to happen after this fight, but uh, that could have been the last one of my career. The UFC is the last belt that I set a goal to get. The stars aligned in the right way to, to make it happen. Michael Bisming really had nothing to offer until he, he won that belt. I lost that first fight, I always wanted a rematch. It's not about defending the title. It's about getting revenge against Dan Henderson, a man that knocked me out unconscious, a man that followed it up with a second vicious blow that could have rendered me brain damage for the rest of my life. But I put him in his place and wiped that smug look off his face. He can say whatever he wants. I know that I'm going to beat him up. I couldn't script a, a better finish to my career. He's not going to get that fairy tale ending that he wants. I'm going to make a fool out of him. I'm going to embarrass him. I'm going to leave him in a bloody mess. Adios, sayonara, whatever the f you want to say, Dan Anderson is done. First to the scale, the future Hall of Famer, Dan Hendo Henderson. to the feature about if there was a fight that would make you continue to battle in the UFC, it was a fight against Michael Bisping. Yeah, I mean, uh, I was looking to maybe be done after my last one, and I'm hoping, uh, you know, with, with offering this fight, I was uh, happy about it. So, one last fight for you guys. Yeah, they love you be here. Good luck tomorrow night. Catch up with the champion, Michael Bisping. I mean, Michael, you have 
done it all. 26th fight in the octagon, you become a champion. 27th fight, you are going to face Dan Henderson. No offense, Mike. What's up, Manchester? Who wants to see Hendo get knocked the F out? Come on, make some noise. Guys, this is the pinnacle of my career. It doesn't get any better than this. I'm the champion, defending it in Manchester. Someone shut this dickhead up over here. Mate, you're going down, pal. Fuck you. Fuck Henderson, Manchester. Let's fucking do this. Fuck you. Michael Bisbee. That concludes the weigh-ins. Cannot wait for tomorrow night. Michael Bisping is the new middleweight champion! This is the greatest day of my life. What do you get for the man who has everything? Dan Henderson is famous for knocking me out of UFC 100. You get revenge. Some say revenge is sweet. I disagree. I think it's better than sweet. Be careful what you wish for. Honestly, I don't know why Michael would want to rematch with me. You can't erase history. There's nothing I do better in this life than fighting. Nobody's taking this away from me. It felt good knocking out Michael Bisbeck. And I'm going to do it again. UFC returns to Mexico City. Come and feel the thrill live with hard-hitting fight night main card event featuring Rafael Dos Anjos versus Tony Ferguson, plus the UFC debut of Alexa Grasso and the Ultimate Fighter Latin American Season 3 finale. It's an event that you can't miss. Tickets on sale now on Superboletas.com. The UFC returns to Melbourne with an epic rematch of a classic title fight. Former middleweight champions Luke Rockhold and Jacare Souza renew their rivalry with a shot at the UFC belt on the line. Plus, a stacked fight card featuring UFC stars from around the world. Don't miss UFC Fight Night Live, Saturday, November 26th at Rod Laver Arena. Here we go! Only on Fox Sports 1.